Hi, um, today I'm going to show you three different things how to put a post into the ground without using concrete so it's stronger than concrete then I'm going to show you a square lashing then I'm going to show you how to make a bench that you can sit on and I used a bench like that when I was training in the um, in the Bolivian Isles of course right first off I've got Marley behind the camera by the way and I've got Reese and Lily who are helping me out so first off I've got a pole I'm going to put it into the hole who helped me make this uh, hole Marley me Marley helped me dig this pole so I'm going to leave it in there there's nothing in that hole it's just empty and it's probably there's probably three or four inches on each side of the post now I'm just going to backfill it, which sounds easy, but you just scrape a back bit in all around the outside. That will just hold it up. Now I'm going to tamp it down, and I'm going to use this end of the sledgehammer to start off with. And this is the important thing. You just tamp down around the outside, but you've got to do it really firmly. The firmer you do it, the better the post stays in. So it's just tamping, which is just tapping down. And make sure it's in nice and solid. That's the first layer. I'll do three layers and then it should be in light rock. A bit more around the outside. What was the word I used for tapping it down? Can you remember what the tamping? Tamping down. Just going to use it again, look. Just pushing down. and it sets in, because it's like clay as well, uh, the earth that we dug out, it's brilliant. It really locks it in place. I'll do one more. The last bit. Can you see we carefully cut out the bit of turf? Do you know what that's called, that bit of turf? could be called a block, they call it a sod. A sod of turf. There you go. Did you know that? Yes. You knew that. Right, then I'm just going to tamp this down. To finish it off, I'm just using the top end of the sledgehammer. That is harder than if it would be set in concrete. So that's the first thing. Next one, I want to show you a square lashing. I don't know if you want to come a bit nearer for this one. So when you do a square lashing, you always start off with a cove hitch. Now I'm going to start off with a cove hitch on the seat. And you make it, can you see that? It's like a figure of eight. And then you just loop this underneath and that holds the rope securely in place just going to slide it up to the post and then all I'm going to do now square lashing means I'm just going to lash this onto the top and the way you do it can you see it goes underneath around and then over the top underneath, around, over the top. Can you see how it's coming together? And now to really tighten it off, what you do is you put a couple of loops to tighten it around there. Okay, one more. I'm going to put my foot on it. And then really you should finish with a clove hitch on the opposite end of the... So I started off on the bench so I'm going to put the clove hitch on the pole. And it's the same thing. Just goes through the middle. then I might need a volunteer to test it out. Oh, 
I'll try first, just in case it goes wrong. You want to try it just to see if it works? Yeah. Do you want to try, Reese? So that's a square lashing, and it's really useful to make a bench or a table. And it's the start of the bench. It's not that comfortable, but you can add bits to it. You can make a higher table. You can make all sorts. So that's a square lashing. Starts off with a clove hitch and it ends with a Kovich. Next week, I think we were making, I think it was archery and dampers. See you next week.